Hi, and welcome to this short video of WorkSoft Certified generating T-bombs using WorkSoft Certified test assets. First, we'll start with solution documentation. It will navigate to my particular folder in memory for a particular test that I will use for T-bomb generation. Now, this is a very simple test to show you how T-bomb generation via WorkSoft Certify is very simple, easy to use. So the exact same principles from creating a test inside of Certify apply here. The only difference is we will assign the test case itself to a executable, which in turn is assigned to T-bomb generation. In this particular case, I have a very small test. We will take a look at that to show you the simplicity of the test that will be executed today. It is a five-step process that will uh, populate the VA01 screen inside of SAP. So right now we're bringing up WorkSoft Certify and I want to show you the anatomy of that test itself. Again, very simple test. We Enter NBA01, order number 17101000 in the division for the first VA01 screen. But you also you'll notice that we start a trigger or a trace step inside of WorkSoft Certify. So we need to add these two steps to tell Solution Manager to execute that T-bomb or generate that T-bomb itself. So that's all that there is in this particular test. So we'll save and return to SAP. Okay, I'll go ahead and close this. All right, so the next step would be to execute that particular test. And let's go to my tester work list. And I have a project for T-bomb generation, and that's that particular test itself. So let's go ahead and take a look at that while it refreshes. I'll go ahead and select that, which it's selected. I'll go ahead and execute that immediately for this particular demo. Okay, great. So I'm going to go ahead and select all and take a look at the actual tests I have in this particular project. As you can see, there are two, but the one that I'm interested in is the actual very small T-bomb generation test. So I'll go ahead and execute that test now. This brings up the start screen from Solution Manager. Let's take a look at what this contains. Scroll down. We are ready to activate the T-Bond recording, close the RFC connection, and I'll just go ahead and execute that. And then we will watch it execute in the Honda 1610 system. WorkSoft Certify has started. Execution is in progress. And that concludes the execution of the test. So as it's creating T-bombs, it, you'll note that it is strenuous on the SAP system. And it takes a little bit to report back to Solution Manager. Uh, again, as with the initial execution, you will get the results viewer from WorkSoft Certify. We'll go ahead and close that, and we'll navigate inside of SAP to take a look at that log itself. So we'll go back to the home. Let's take a look at the test execution logs. As you can see, the T-bomb test was executed. Let's take a look at the log ID. And again, this is the results from WorkSoft Certify. Let's take a look at the actual log inside of Solution Manager. And this did execute successfully. And as you can see from the second line here, the Z create order T bomb was actually created. Let's go and take a look at what that looks like inside of Solution Manager. Change this log display, we'll close this. We'll go back to solution documentation. 
and we take a look at the T-bomb. So Z order, create T-bomb. These are the elements of the T-bomb. This is the elements of that executable that's associated with that T-bomb. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. You'll see that the elements show that there are T-bombs generated for that particular test. And this will bring up the details of that T-bomb itself. Here's the technical bill of material. It was a dynamic T-bomb. We advise dynamic so it can capture all of the objects. And if we take a look at the actual contents itself, it'll show you that there are 5,519 objects that were generated for this particular small T-bomb test that we created with six steps. Thank you. That concludes our demonstration for T-bomb generations using WorkSoft Certify.